Before the perfect punching program, stance, aft up, face, aft up, because, and you can see it, the haters are always right, guys. Stance, aft up. But more importantly, stance can be fixed, but the punching is usually instinctual and is just over and over and over and over. It's a bad habit over and over and over getting reinforced. Side of face, chin, knockout, city. So, the idea of throwing the jab has three elements to it. Abs engaged, which I learned from Scott at Mike's. Hussey at Mike's, Lindsay at Mike's, Dashalil Hakeem and Mike on top, and I just got world class instruction that I had to go at go to the facility and work on. And what I was doing beforehand, before the perfect punching program, was uh, squeezing my squeezing like being lazy out here. Bleh. Being lazy out here until I throw the punch. Did you know fighters keep their abs engaged the whole match? That's why you're doing all those push-ups. That's why you're doing all those crunches and holds and stuff like that. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I've been a lazy fighter. So the thing is, instead of going, Bleh, you always want to be engaged, right? And when you're engaged, you can be loose. But when you're, when you're, when you're, Bleh, you're actually forcing everything. Take that to the bank. So when your when your abs engage, look how everything is just more tight. Look, 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 look. Because your central nervous system is activating your core so you can be loose. So those crunches, those holds, those planks are for a reason. So that's number one. Number two is stance with your hands, your feet. Is you want to be you want to be down on your hips. You want to be down on your hips, right hand above your eyebrows, and a female fighter friend told me which was exposing. The haters are always right, people, and they'll never tell you why until you figure out the hard way. I figured out the easy way because I have a smart female friend, fighter friend, and she told me, Karma, you're going to get knocked the F out because you're leaving yourself open to the right cross. And boy, did I learn that the hard way. I just kind of contradicted myself. Is I lost a tooth to a MMA fighter, a professional Calgary MMA fighter. You know who he is. And with that right cross. So he just came across. I threw a jab. I threw a jab like this. He comes across. Easy money. So that, lo that took out my tooth. And uh, I guess I get to teach from experience. So... Here's the thing, is that your right, your, you, you have your right hand uh, above your eyebrows, right up at your eyebrows, you're sitting on your, sitting on your hips, and here's the thing, when you're going on offense, you have to throw the jab with your chin smelling your armpit, underneath your shoulder, so you're going like this, underneath your shoulder, smelling your armpit, if you can't smell your armpit, you're doing it wrong, and you extend, and you extend. And before, I was extending like this, and no one was telling me until, until Dre told me. So the thing is, is that you gotta stand out like this, like that, and attack like this. Haters are always right.